Hi, hello, and namaste. This is me, Susanna, and I am back again with another story. And the title of today's story is Sani Le Sati Panai. That means Sani, who is a girl in this picture, the one wearing the skirt, made friends. And the other child, you can see in this picture that her leg is being tied with a rope. Then something must be wrong, no? Something must be happening in the story. So come, let's find what's happening in the story. So Sani, as a girl, a very smart and sweet girl, she used to go to school every day. But one day on her way to school, she found that a girl who just looks like of her is was being tied in a rope and she was very sad. This made her worried and felt like asking questions. What happened to this girl? Why is she in that condition? She could not ask questions directly, but she kept on thinking what might be wrong with her. That day, she went to school and... Uh, but the question was always on her mind. She went to school, but her mind was stuck with that girl she was worried and she was she felt like asking questions but that time she could not but um, she, she was just curious that time and that day after returning back to from the school she talked to her mother and said mother i found a girl in the nearby house nearby our village she was being tied in a row why is she she in that condition mama she asked sani asked this question to her mother and mother said really uh, and the mother said maybe she is naughty that's why her parents left her as a punishment and she might be running every time that's why her rope uh, the rope has been tied on her legs but don't worry come you have just come from school you must be tired take out your bag and get ready for your snacks then Sani was really curious what was wrong with that girl. So she thought next day maybe I'll ask her about it. So early in the morning, she again went for the school. Again, in the same situation, the girl was found there. And she tried to console her, saying, Hi, I am Sani. What's your name? What? The child did not answer. She was just sad and she, she don't know how to react. But she was just sitting that way. Then when the other girl did not reply her, she just went home and she again asked a question to her mother. Mother, she was. I saw that girl again today. She was in the same condition. What is wrong with her? I'm so curious and this is disturbing my mind. My mother said, really? Okay, why don't you go tomorrow and uh, spend some time with her and ask her questions. But make sure you're safe because parents don't want others to interfere in their personal life. But for now, please have your snacks here and get ready for your study and your homework. And say, after having her snacks, she started doing her homework. But again, tomorrow morning, when she was going on her way to her school, she again saw the child. And that time, she felt like, I must try to speak to this girl. She started speaking to her and making eye contact. She tried making jokes and making her laugh. And... The girl also started getting friendlier to Sunny. She wiped her tears and said, My name is Sunny. What's your name? She asked, but the other child did not answer. But she was just clapping her hands. And because, and Sunny thought maybe she cannot speak, so she didn't ask them much questions. And after playing for a while, after sitting and spending some time with her, Sunny went home and she threw everything to her mother and said, Mama, I went to her. I tried to speak to her but she was not speaking. Is it like she cannot speak? 
probably that might be so but please don't get interfered into such things please leave the lever alone you must take care of yourself and you must get you must wake up early tomorrow for your school so don't worry much about others okay just take care of yourself and do your homework and sleep on time the mother said but next day sunny was very much curious about that child she was she could not forget the smile of that friend was about of that girl who was about to be her friend then at school she talked about her to her another school friend and she said i usually come that way and if i i see a girl of our age she's not coming to school but she's always being tied with a rope and she looks very sad i tried to speak to her but she was not speaking and this is making me really feel weird sani said to her friend probably you should try to ask her more questions and know about her if she's really in trouble then we must try to help her isn't it her friend said that and she said yes and that day she was going back from the school and at the same place she saw when men and a woman was scolding her and looking at this because she always used to find it alone but this time there were men and a woman she asked questions to them who are you and why are you scolding to this little girl she was already crying and you were even making her more cry more the mm, women and men said we are her parents oh, you've just come from a school mm. and sani said yes i used to see her alone and i saw you too so i was worried i don't know you were you both were her parents what is wrong with her why are you scolding her then her mother and father sat and started saying she's our daughter actually we had to leave her this way because she cannot speak and she cannot walk and we cannot take her to our work because we need to work for her medicine there's no one to look after her at home that's why we have to tie her here like this we have no options but we have to do so please don't think negative about us the parents said to sani oh that's the case that's why i always come here and try to cheer her up but she never spoke to me but she just smiled but now i know okay she's really in trouble but anyways we'll come i'll come to accompany her every day on my way back from the school to my home is that okay for you auntie sani said and that is it yes why not then sani went to her home and to everything about a new friend's condition to her mother and mother said oh you are such a really good child you are so concerned about others i really i'm really proud of you daughter okay every day you can go and meet her and talk to her and try to cheer her up okay she really needs some friend and next day sani when she was returning from her school it was raining very heavily and she could see her friend was getting wet and sani quickly ran towards her and opened her robe and made her sit in the small chair that was lying there then immediately she saw that her friend was standing and walking but her mother said she cannot walk <gasps> looking at this at the same time the parents also arrived there and they were very shocked to see her child walking like that <gasps> oh my god we did such a bad thing to her she could walk but actually we were tying her all this time thanks to all this girl had they not come here in such an emergency situation i would have never known that she can actually walk and the parents of the child thank the girl for taking so much care of her and even the sani and her friends were amazed to see her walking and from that day the parents parents realized that she can actually work that means she can help them in parts of the household work so she 
the parents started teaching her do this and don't do this like that and the child also started walking slowly slowly and every day the two of the girls used to come to her and cheer her up and, so, and after some days the child also started speaking that means what was happening in the story was like the child was missing love and attention from her parents her parents thought the child cannot speak cannot walk that's why she was tied in that position tied with rope but she they never thought that she could actually walk and talk if little more motivation was given that was you know, it was parents fault but thanks to the two children sunny and her friends that made them realize and see what's true so this story tells us or taught us a lesson that we should never give up but we should keep trying because trying makes us success yes it also makes us feel sometimes but losing hope you are just going to be sad you just have to be positive about everything and things will fall in its place so children if you fail at something you should not be sad rather than keep on trying and look at the positive aspects of life isn't it so that was the end of today's story hope you liked it and you have a lesson learned i'll see you next time until then stay safe and take care